Captain's log supplemental. We're in the middle of a big build for a charity. It makes emotions about charities. When I was on the USS Get Me Some, the charities drug us down. I didn't know how to handle it. So I'm peering into the alien life form. This is not a place. This is inferior. That's gone. While other men have gone where we're about to go, none have gone quite like this. Cue intro. After being marooned on planet Big Boar for several days, I've discovered ways to manipulate the machines into extreme amounts of power and torque. With this machine, we're gonna do a Moonshine 128 with our proprietary Moonshine kit provided by one of our badass vendors, SNS. We're also going to do some experiments with different cams, because cams are the heart of power. I found this while mining. The good thing about Planet Big Boar is it's a completely uninhabited world, so I can litter all I want. The planet's already hot. We have discovered the newest oil pump by SNS. Oh, he likes that. It's got that ring to seal like that. Something that's super important is spacing out this cam gear to the bottom. Now the correct way to do that, so there's these packs that have different size shims in them. And this is a step that's commonly overlooked. You just kind of pick one you think is gonna work and you assemble it. You use a straight edge and you see if you can get a 10 thousandths feeler underneath it. And that's it. It should be within 10 thousandths gap on both of these. But I, I can't tell you how many times I pull a motor apart and that step is overlooked. There's no reason for it. It's pretty simple. That's not how you get to play that big bore by skipping that spacer. Now that we have the cam compartment all closed up, I can start working on our high performance SNS precision lifters. So SNS used to have a few different lifter combinations and they consolidated some of them so, and made a new lifter called the Precision Lifter. And it's basically just a limited travel, high performance lifter without having the guesswork of which lifters you actually need. They are still the same SNS quality. They're still lifters that we use on several of our builds. Brian. Hi. Finally. Oh, how are you? A friendly face on <laughs> Planet Horsepower. Oh, no, it's Planet Big Boar. Can you beam yourself somewhere? <laughs> I tried. I Actually, you know what? We can. You ready? I sure, I'm ready. Both. Let's go. Where are we going? All right, ready? Someplace good. Nice. And we're here. I like it. I like it. Good job. For those of you that don't know, this is Brian Russell of Horsepower Therapy. He is the proud owner of this bad boy, and we partnered with him and several vendors to do a Moonshine 128 build. It's a drop-in build using the stock heads. 128 cylinders and pistons. We're gonna actually test a few different cams on this bike. So we're gonna actually have two more videos, not just this one. This one we're gonna focus on the engine. We're gonna invite Brian back because we've partnered with some vendors to do a lighting combination and talk about some of the badass uh, vendors that we partner with and that have been very gracious to partner with Horsepower Therapy um, for this build. And we're also gonna do some suspension and talk about that. That color just accents so well. Yeah, I mean, just the little things like, you know, the black with it. I like the, the brake stuff. The brake pedal, yeah, it's gonna be cool. Yeah, a little bit small. I mean, it's just that it's small. It's not this big, chunky ass, big brake. It'll streamline it quite a bit. Yeah, all right, you do your thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited. Just to, I said, the biggest motor I ever rode was a 110. But because that was, that was the heat back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, got a big boy. 110. Oh, yeah. This is going to be like that, but not really. But not. Yeah, but not. So depending on your bore size, you know, you always want to refer to the piston manufacturer because sometimes it's a little bit different. Some of them require a larger gap than others, you know, depending on the style of the piston setup. But 
Oh, ooh, love it. Just kind of cup feel. Just, oh, like that. Yeah. Cylinder walls look good. Everything looks good. It looks really good. It looks really, really good. Almost done repairing the machine that I think will get me off this, or this planet of Big Boar and back to my home world. It's so goddamn cold. But to the important thing, what is Horsepower Therapy? So Horsepower Therapy is a veteran nonprofit. Uh, we get veterans out to race events, track events, anything that deals with horsepower cars, trucks, Jeeps, and now motorcycles. So this is, is this going to be the first motorcycle this you take This is the out first there? motorcycle we're building, and I'm not sure if it'll go to SEMA this year or not, but it uh, probably might wind up in somebody's booth, one of our partners. So cool. yeah, it's, we're excited. So, I love horsepower. Now, as a fellow veteran, I was in the Army. How do I become a part of Horsepower Therapy? So we've got a web, our website, horsepowertherapy.org. Um, Which is right the, here. Perfect. And um, you is go there and, or here. Is it? Somewhere. Follow, follow <laughs> Out there on the interwebs. Uh, we've got a contact us um, click thing and it sends us an email if you guys want to get involved. If anyone get, wants to get involved, they can go to the website or follow our Facebook page, send us messages. We try to stay out on the social media as much as we can. So if I get involved, what does that entail? Could be just getting out to an event with us or just possibly hanging out. hanging out. It's about the fellowship of veterans and just usually when you're around guys that you know or guys that have the same back, background of history, sometimes you're willing to share more what's going on in your life. Sure. And that's what it's all about, is trying to, the fellowship of being a veteran. And that's pretty important, especially with, you know, when they've gone through some of the traumatic events. Absolutely. You know, and, and it's hard to readjust. Absolutely, so tinkering's big, you know, that's, that's what I did. I'd come home from a, from a deployment and I'd go down to my garage and I'd tinker on my car or my Harley and I'd pull as much horsepower or just change, do something, get your hands involved, get involved with the project. And that's the essence of what we're doing here, so. And this is a hell of a project. I can't wait. Oh, Got my kicks. Oh. The local wildlife does seem to react adversely to brake clean. An example. Hey. Oh. And they run. Just like that and they run.